Is it safe to swim in a swimming pool that has high pH? Well, the first question that I have is how high is your pH? It's important to recognize, you know, you're aiming for, you know, 7.2 on the pH scale. Um, but by the time you get to 8, that doesn't sound like that big of a difference, right? Like the ideal is around 7.4. You're only up to 8. That's not that high, right? Well, it's a logarithmic scale. So a pH of 8 is 10 times as alkaline as a pH of 7. That's a pretty big difference. If you had a pH as high as 9, that is 100 times as alkaline as a pH of 7. So when you start to consider it along that scale, it becomes evident that it's actually pretty bad to have pH that that's high. You know, if I was making a recipe for you and it called for you know, one part vinegar in the recipe, but I accidentally used 10 parts of vinegar or 100 parts of vinegar. How delicious is that recipe going to be? Probably not very good because that drastically, adversely changes the chemical balance of what we're dealing with. And it's no different with a swimming pool. A pH of 8 is very high. A pH of 9 is ridiculously high. And I would not consider swimming in swimming pools that had a pH that high. And the main reason why is that a lot of people are really sensitive to pH changes. I'm one of those people. Fair-haired, fair-skinned people in particular are pretty sensitive to adverse pH levels. So if you had a high pH level in your pool, you might be thinking, well, I'm going to go swimming. It's going to be fine. And if everybody jumps in, perhaps one or two of those people are going to have a rash or really itchy skin when they get out and they're going to be pretty uncomfortable. So it's worthwhile considering that different people react differently to adverse pH. But to my point, I would say that it is not a good idea if only for the reason that chlorine is largely ineffective at high pH levels. By the time you reach a pH of 8.0 or especially 8.4 and above, the chlorine in your water is almost completely inactive. You could still test the water and you can still see that there's some free chlorine in there, but it's not able to do its job. And that's one of the main reasons why we maintain the pH of pools at around 7.4, because the chlorine is effective at that range. So if for no other reason, I would say it's not safe to swim in a pool with high pH just because the chlorine is not going to be able to do its job. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.